This conference is brought to you by CodeStack, React and React Native development experts. Hello everyone. I hope you are all having a great time at React Native EU 2021. I'm Alex. I'm here to talk to you about game development. The exact title of my talk is what if I want to be a game dev? I would like to start with a quote by Ernest Klein from the book Ready Player One. Maybe some of you have heard about it or the book or uh, the movie. Being human totally sucks most of the time. Video games are the only thing that makes life bearable. Okay, that quote is kind of a bummer, but video games are really a great way to spend your free time, right? And we do play a lot of games. That's why I would like to talk to you about developing games, because, you know, somebody has to create the games that we play. My talk will be divided into four parts. First, I'll do an introduction about a little bit about myself and about the reasons for making this talk. I will then go on to presenting your options. What can you do if you want to develop games? And then I will concentrate on a game engine called Unity. And uh, lastly, I will talk about integrating Unity in a, with a React Native app. I would like to start off with a little introduction. As I said in the beginning, my name is Alex. This is actually my second talk at React Native EU. I spoke last year about animations in React Native apps. And I showed you a little preview during that talk of a small app called Pusha that I worked on. And I'm very proud to say that that app is currently available on the Google Play Store and on uh, the App Store. Uh, I would like to briefly add that publishing uh, the app by myself was a challenge, but it's doable. So if you're out there doing some solo mission and you're worried if you will be able to make it, you will. It's okay. You can you can do it. Um, I like to push boundaries of uh, what I do of currently of app development. So working on games is kind of pushing it. What pushing what we currently do in React Native apps usually. And uh, last but not least, I recently joined Callstack and I'm very excited about that. Let's move on to the topic of this talk. I entitled this slide, Why So Serious? Because we developers sometimes take ourselves a little bit too seriously. So let's talk about games a little bit. Let's wake up our inner child. Uh, I would like to convince you that developing games is a great thing to do because it creates new challenges in very new areas. Uh, it can become your creative outlet. You know, some people make bread, some other people like make pottery. You can make games. Um, you can learn new stuff, new programming languages, but also new concepts in programming, um, especially if you are self-taught like me, uh, then facing like new approaches to programming is very enriching. And uh, maybe there's some game that you would like to play yourself, but that doesn't exist yet. So you can go ahead and create it. So now that you're super convinced that game development is fun and is a good way to spend your time, let's weigh your options. You can take pretty much one of three votes. You can go with just plain old React Native, and it can be done in React Native. Uh, there are a lot of Flappy Bird examples of games developed in just plain old React Native. I guess Flappy Bird is the game equivalent of the to-do apps for React.js tutorials. Another road you can take is using a library called React Native Game Engine it's just exactly what the name says. It's a game engine. It has some built-in functionalities like loops or character movement, and it will help you start uh, faster. 
or you can try to integrate a game engine. That can be super useful if the game you have in mind is maybe a bit more complicated than Flappy Bird. Let's take a deeper dive into those three options. There are many games written in React Native alone. Um, I myself saw a presentation of Flappy Royale uh, on the stage of React Native EU 2019, written in React Native alone. Um, there's a Minesweeper game, a basketball game. You can, you can find all kinds of great examples on GitHub. And uh, I would li also like to um, recommend watching William Candelon's YouTube channel where uh, the channel is called Can it be done in React Native? And the answer is usually yes. So what he did is he created a uh, three, baby 3D engine and uh, he shows how to use it and how he used it uh, with just React Native and Reanimate it. If your game is a little bit more complicated, or complex, you may want to go with um, open source library, React Native Game Engine. This library will help you tackle some standard game functionalities such as character movement or loops or many, many others. But what if your game is even more complex? Then you may want to go with the game engine. There are many, many game engines out there in the world. Uh, two, two game engines that are really renowned are Unity and Unreal. Unity has a vast tutorial ecosystem and it has actually existing integrations with React Native. Unreal is, um, is a famous game engine that has great 3D rendering. And there is an Unreal JS plugin where you can use the Unreal Engine and write all your code in JS. So why am I talking about Unity here? Unity is simply my personal preference. To be honest, both of those game engines have editors uh, which have a little bit of a learning curve. It takes some time to understand all the fields and there's a lot of fields. And it's, it, it, you, have to, you have to put some time in. So I put my time into Unity and uh, what I got back was really satisfying for me. And that's why also I wanted to present it to you today. Here you can see a, a few second GIF of a game I created thanks to a tutorial on Unity. It was a 14 hour tutorial that I took a couple of hours a day for a week. So after a week, I, had, I have this complete game uh, with Ruby, the main character who is animated moves around, she can get damaged, she can eat her little strawberry to get her health back. You can see her health in the corner. She can talk to other characters. And this was all done in just a few days with the help of a very uh, nicely done tutorial. Uh, all the assets were free. And this was a real fun way to learn Unity. And at the same time, I ended up with a game that I can play, that I can show to my friends and family, that I can uh, build out, I can create a whole world now um, and make this a really big game. Here are a list of some key points which convinced me to use Unity. As I said, Unity has a lot of tutorials some of them are in editor, very, very comfortable to use uh, with highlights of buttons that you have to click to, um, to achieve the goal of the tutorial, as well as tutorials on the website. Uh, the website also contains learning paths where by completing tutorials, you earn points. And um, it's, it's a pretty nicely gamified solution 
for learning. There are a lot of free assets to start off. Uh, there are a lot of paid assets as well, but if you don't want to invest any money, uh, you can start off with really a bunch of very nice free assets. Uh, Unity is great for 2D games as well as for 3D games. And it is used for some very few, uh, for some very big titles, uh, which I will mention in a second. And there are uh, actually a few React Native integration libraries out there that you can use. Here are a few notable titles that use the Unity engine. It's used in the game Overcooked 2, Fall Guys, or Subnautica. And as far as mobile games are concerned, Unity is used for Super Mario Run, Monument Valley, Angry Birds Epic, and many, many more. If you notice Super Mario Run here, I can add that Nintendo actually uses the Unity game engine for all of their mobile games. And that includes Animal Crossing, Crossing uh, Pocket or Dr. Mario World and Mario Kart Tour. Um, there's really quite a few titles out there. So now I have convinced you that game development is great. Then I hope I convinced you that Unity is great. Now the last piece of the puzzle is talking about the marriage of React Native and Unity. I believe they create quite the power couple. Integrating React Native with Unity can be done in two ways on a high level. You can have a React Native app and integrate a Unity minigame or some Unity functionalities in your app. Or you can have a Unity app in which you integrate a React Native app and functionalities. So let's start with the first approach. You we start with a React Native app and integrate a little bit of Unity goodness inside of it. On the high level, it takes three steps. You start by creating your app, your React Native app. Then you can use Unity as a library, which is a new feature introduced to Unity in 2020. Uh, or you can check out some open source implementations. And then you just sit back and uh, admire your beautiful app game. Uh, here are some examples uh, of such integrations. Here you can see a, a game, like a shooter game, which is inside of a React Native view. And it's a pretty, it's a pretty big complex game, um, but at uh, any time you can go back to your React Native app. Um, there's also another, here you can see another example uh, of an app which has a React uh, a Unity game, a React Native app with a Unity game, but it's presented on a tab. And um, if you look closely, you can actually even see there are buttons uh, in the Unity app where you can change the background um, or like rotation of the 3D object. Can you imagine trying to render this 3D object in JavaScript? I mean, that would be and that would be a lot of work, right? And Unity is pretty much a few clicks. Um, here you can see another example of an integration. It's, um, it's different in the sense that the, React, the Unity uh, game or view is in the background of your React Native app. Um, and on the right, you can see something that I find super exciting. Uh, it's an example integration um, made by the Unity team uh, of using Unity as a library inside a native app. So uh, they have like a native app with a store, which we all know you can do in React Native. And then at the touch of a button, you go into an augmented reality powered by Unity uh, where your shopper can see what their item would look like on their actual desk. So, as you can see, 
there are a lot of ways to use Unity. You, they have uh, virtual reality, augmented reality, mixed reality, uh, 3D models, games. You know, the sky's the limit. And uh, this is my cat who really wanted to participate in this talk. <laughs>